When white light enters a gemstone, it will refract into multiple colors. This is called refraction or dispersion in a gemstone. The higher the refractive index, the more colors you'll see. A cubic zirconia has a refractive index of about 2.15 to 2.18. This is lower than diamond, but it has a higher dispersion rate, which we'll talk about in a minute. Blue topaz, by contrast, has a relatively low refractive index of only about 1.6. For this reason, you don't see a lot of extra colors showing up in the stone. Moissanite, however, has a very high refractive index. Note that even though the base color of this stone is teal, you see a lot of other flecks of color popping up as well. Blues, greens, reds, and oranges. Okay, are you with me so far? That was a bit of a generalization. I want to clarify something right off the bat. Refractive index and dispersion are not actually the same thing. I'm going to clarify that right now. In order to explain the difference between a refractive index and dispersion, I'm going to be looking at two stones, moissanite and diamond. As white light enters each of these stones, it's going to break up into its different colors. Red light will refract less than violet light at the other end of the spectrum. In order to find out the dispersion for each stone, we're going to take the refractive index of violet light and red light and subtract in order to find the difference. This is called the dispersion. Moissanite will refract the violet light and red light at greater differences to each other than diamond. Therefore, moissanite has a higher dispersion rate than diamond. Okay, so to recap, refractive index is a measurement of how far light bends. A shallow refractive index would be almost flat. For example, air has a refractive index of 1. Water is about 1.3. Glass is about 1.5. Uh, moving on, in that short video right there, we saw that diamond and moissanite have different refractive indexes. Uh, and that index is a measurement of how steep that angle is for light. But when you get into the different colors of light, like red versus violet, at the two opposite ends of the spectrums, now you're seeing that those two colors have a different refractive index independently. And that's because they operate on different wavelengths. So dispersion is a measurement of how far apart those two colors, each end of the color spectrum, are going to be after light has refracted. So, as you can imagine, if you took a rainbow and you smoosh it together into a really narrow area, that would be a low dispersion and you're not going to see as much color differences versus a wider dispersion and you're going to see more of the different colors because they're spaced further apart. Okay, so what you might be wondering is, does a higher refractive index always mean a higher dispersion rate? And the answer is no. The two of them are not uh, directly proportionately related to them on a linear scale. Uh, and the classic example of this is cubic zirconia. Uh, CZ has a refractive index of about 2.15 versus diamond, which has an index of about 2.4. So one would think that diamond would also have a higher dispersion, but that's not true. Cubic zirconia actually has a higher dispersion than diamond. Uh, that's why uh, it, you might hear somebody say that CZ has more fire in it than a diamond did, does. Uh, and in that regard, that is true. Fire, uh, as it's called in the jewelry trade, uh, refers directly to the dispersion of a stone or how much color is presented, uh, most often in a clear stone or in a white stone like diamond or CZ or moissanite. Um, However, these stones also come in other colors in which you would see those flecks of colors mixed in with the base color like we saw in the Moise Night earlier. So that wraps it up for today. Um, I hope you found this to be interesting and informative. If you have any questions or comments, just put them in the comments below. I try to read them and respond if I feel like uh, I can pitch in and lend any hand. Um, so thank you for watching and I appreciate your time.